directional blur just got a massive update and there's even a surprise me button. This is currently in beta, but by the time you watch this video, it may be in the full release. On this first clip right here, all I'm gonna do is go to the effects tab and type in directional blur and under video effects, I'm gonna drag on directional blur. If you're familiar with directional blur, you can see that we have a couple different options. We now have a surprise me button, which when you click it, it'll give you a different directional blur. And there's also a start fresh button that resets it to the default. We now also have chromatic aberration, which is awesome because when you have a directional blur and you drag that up, it kind of gives you like a little chroma, which is really cool when you're creating certain effects. I like to use directional blur with object mask. When doing this effect, I recommend duplicating your clip by holding alt and dragging it up. That way you have a clean clip to work with. On this top layer, I'm actually gonna select this object mask tool down here in the tools panel, and I'm gonna hover over my character right here or your subject that you wanna highlight. All you have to do is click on your subject under object mask, I'm gonna select track mask forward and backward. That will automatically track our subject. Pretty good, but it's not amazing. But for this effect, we don't need it to be perfect. All I'm gonna do is go to the effects tab and type in directional blur and drag on directional blur under video effects onto our top clip. As soon as I do that, you can see that under directional blur, our object mask already has been applied. We can also click inverted so it does everything in the background. And then you can start playing around with the surprise me options. Sometimes you'll get a cool effect. All we have to do is manipulate the angle, change the amount so it's not too crazy. And if we want, you can add some chromatic aberration. And just like that, you've created a very cool directional blur effect. Now I'll show you how easy it is to apply it to the rest of our clips. Again, I duplicate my clips up, select on my top layer, go to the object mask tool, select on our subject, track the mask forward and backwards, and then drag on the directional blur effect. And for this one, I'm gonna keep it on our subject right here, but I'm just going to change how intense it is. Click surprise me or start fresh, and then let's start manipulating these parameters. I typically like creating it so it's subtle, like anything under five on the amount, and the chromatic aberration you can just do to taste. So that looks good right there. You can also adjust the feather on your object mask to create a softer effect, and the expansion if you wanna expand this out more. But I like how that looks. So on our final clip, I'm gonna click that top clip, go to the object mask tool, and select on our subject. If you don't want something in the frame, you can hold Alt, and click on it, and then that will actually remove it from your object mask, and then you can just retrack. Once you have your mask, drag on the directional blur effect. And for this one, I'm gonna go inverted, and I'm gonna start fresh, drag the amount up a tiny bit. The angle, I think I like where it's at, and add some chromatic aberration. We have created some cool directional blur effects. The cool thing about editing this way is if this is too strong for you, you can just click on our top clip, head down here and lower the amount and change any parameter you want. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did, click that like button and subscribe for more.